Looking at the truth, the money never lie. No, I'm the one, yeah. I'm the one. Welcome back to my channel, dolls. And today I'm here to show you how I created this unit, girl. Yes, this is a wig, girl. This is a wig. So if you're interested in seeing how I made this very versatile wig, then keep on watching. All right, so you're gonna need a wig block. I'm starting off with my left print wig block with a free trust lace crochet wig cap with combs, y'all. This is new. So you need to make sure you position it for a middle part. So my hair of choice is free trust ringlet wand curl. Girl, this is some bomb hair. I have a previous crochet video on it. Check it out. So you wanna start off with your pack. This is how the hair comes. We're gonna be putting this through about three of the holes. So you wanna regularly crochet your hair just like a regular ordinary crochet. Now this hair does come short, so I did create a method to allow you to make your short crochet hair longer. So I will link that video down below so you can see it because I am making my crochets long. And as you can see, this bad boy ain't going nowhere. One time is good enough, ladies. So here is one complete row, and I'm still on the first pack. So you want to start your second row off filling in between the spaces. So you're gonna go a little bit above, but filling in those spaces because you don't want your hair to be all spaced out. Here we go, loop de loo Here we go, loop de la. Don't I have a lovely voice, ladies? Don't be no hater, girl. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just stick to crochet. So you wanna do like so. I'm just filling in those spaces. ladies so you can see how that makes a difference you see how spaced out this is and you see how full this is so I finished my second row and I have used one and a half packs so I want a layered look so I'm going to fold my crochets a little bit more to get a more layered look again refer to the video that I show how to get longer length crochets and you are doing this on your next row so this should be above your last so I haven't finished the row but I have completed two full packs I'm trying to show you guys how full the wig is looking how far I'm getting along with making this wig with how many packs that I'm using so I still have a little bit more to go to be even and at this point I started to use t-pins to hold the wig down so now I've pretty much evened out the wig. I have added one row of the shorter length hair. Because I want a layered look, I will now be installing my next row at the length that the hair came in because I want it layered and I don't want to have to do a lot of cutting at the end. So I've completely finished this row and I have used two and a half packs of hair. So you can really see how the shorter length really ties in the layers of the hair. You'll start to see it a little bit more once I add more and more hair. So to avoid my hair being super thick, I'm going to start splitting the hair now and just installing that because it's really starting to get a little full and I don't want it to be too big to where I have to trim. A lot of the hair so it's pretty much the same method just with thinner pieces and again I'm covering about two to three holes that's how much you want to stick your crochet needle through and then put your crochet in And 
here's what my wig looks like after three full packs installed. So you can really see that layering coming into play. So it's coming along very nice. I have quite a bit left to go around this parting area and a little bit at the top. So here's the most important part, your parting area. You want to do invisible crochet knots. So I'll be splitting very small pieces of one crochet because you don't want this part to be thick at all because you have to do smaller pieces. So it's the same technique except you want to do invisible crochets. So you want to get as close to the lace as possible and you just want to pull one side through instead of both sides one side through twist the circle part and then pull the other side through and you want to make sure the knot is below the hair so you want to be able to cover the hair with the other piece so again you want to get close to the lace as close as possible and you only want to pull through one of the pieces of hair. This will allow you to have a knotless crochet. And you just want to continue until the parting is completely full. And here I finished my parting area so I still have a little left at the top but we're all done with the part so now I'm going to close out my crochet wig I'm still splitting the hair going through two to three holes in the cap and I'm doing the knotted crochets so I'm gonna do the knotted crochets up until I get to a very small portion of the top of the wig and then I will start to do my invisible crochets. And here I'm starting my knotless crochets, which is the single stranded crochet. Um, this is just so I will have a seamless finish to my wig. ladies I'm so excited I'm really liking how this turned out of course you can't be too sure until you put it on but I'm really liking how this wig turned out it's not looking too full it's looking really good it's looking nice and layered it's looking a little full so I'm considering um, thinning this out a bit but I'm loving it so far So I have just now finished my wig and now I'm trying it on. I'm so freaking excited. This is so cute, you guys. This is so big. So if you don't like big hair, then this is not for you. I'm thinking about thinning it out just a bit. Um, I feel like it might be a little too big at the top, but for right now, it looks very, very good. Um, you do need to cut this little piece in the front for the lace. I haven't cut that yet, but um, I am going to cut that. I really, really like this. So here's all the hair to the front. So you can see it's a little bit longer than other places. So I'm going to cut that. I think that definitely looks decent enough so here is the wig not doing anything to it I haven't cut on it I haven't done anything so here's the side here's the bag Here's the other side. 
coming back to the fray. So, this wig cap does come with combs. A comb here, a comb here, and a comb at the bottom. I did mine in the middle, uh, that way I could make sure that the hair was even on both sides and um, you will be able to be versatile with it. You can wear it as a side part if you would like to, but I, uh, for the purposes of trying to make sure that the sides are even, I installed it as a middle part. So I did have to um, kind of tack down the wig cap. As I started to crochet the hair in, it started to contract. So I did have to pin it down with some T-pins onto my wig block to keep it secure and to make sure that it stay a middle part so I would know exactly where to put the hair. So this is a three and a half pack. Now I didn't use a full half of the three and a half. Um, I had maybe like four or five pieces of half of the pack left. So I used a total of three packs and maybe a little bit of half of the fourth pack. So, um, you know, not a whole, whole lot of hair. Of course, it looks like a whole lot of hair, which is surprising to me. But um, I really think it's because of the method that I did. And um, that's why it looks so full. But for me, I love big hair, so I'm okay with that. Um, it kind of looks like a Marley hair dupe without the Marley hair work. So, of course, this does not look natural, ladies. I'm going to fix that. But so far, I am loving this hair. Like, it really looks good long. And I have done a tutorial on an actual crochet install on this hair. And it was the short version. So, I'll link that down below if you guys want to check that out just in case. You're not really feeling the wig look but you like the hair and you really want to do an install or you want to do a shorter version of this hair i will link that video down below and right up top for you guys but um i am loving this hair long and i love the fact that this is a wig i don't have to worry about sleeping or committing to this hairstyle for a long period of time i can just pop it on pop it off the end so definitely loving that i am going to cut this lace and i'll be right back to show you guys now i know what y'all think look at this big beautiful wig with this jacked up looking part girl you know i had to fix this i could not have us being sent out like this look like somebody took an axe and just chopped it in the middle of my head so i used some eyeshadow and put this alongside because i just really felt like the part was just extremely too large so you can see where exactly I put the eyeshadow and it looks so much more natural. And now I'm just taking some concealer and trying to blend in this hairline. I'm trying to make it like you can't even see this lace. This is something I had to work with. So this is not something that you can just plop on your hair and go. You actually have to try to blend this with your hairline. So between the concealer and the eyeshadow, it was starting to blend very, very nicely. This is something that you'll have to really, really work with, but it really started blending very flawlessly. And this is where my real hair is, so, you know, I just gelled that down, and here is my result, ladies. I am so happy. That hairline looks amazing. You can't even really tell that that is a wig. So, I hope you guys really, really like this as much as I do. I absolutely love this. That lace parting looks so much better. Y'all saw it before? Y'all see it after? So much better. And here is the back, all to the back. So, you can see the exact fullness. I did trim it just a tiny, tiny bit. But, um, I'm loving how this turned out. So as I mentioned, this wig does allow for versatility, but of course you do have to work with whatever part you want to, you have to blend it. So I'm doing the same process of gelling down my baby hairs, adding this concealer and this eyeshadow to get the result that I am wanting. Never had a girl quite 
right ladies so I noticed once I added the concealer to my part line and underneath my part line along with the black eyeshadow to kind of make my um, hairline look a little bit more like the wig line then um, I noticed it blended very very well so this is not sewn down or anything this is just the wig sitting on my head with the combs you can use the combs to clip into your braids um, if you want to if you don't want to you don't have to I don't have mine clipped in I just kind of have them sitting on top of my head because the combs kind of hurt pulling my hair so um, I don't really use them that much um, if you wanted to you could sew this down and it will probably secure that a little bit more um, also so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm so excited let me know if you guys like this wig I did trim on it a little bit um, to thin it out a little bit but I kind of like the volume I like the bigness of the wig and um, it's not too big for me so if it is too big for you then instead of installing the shorter lengths full hair you should split all of them and it'll be a lot less hair if this is too much hair for you like I said I only use four packs so um, that's not that bad to me um, so let me know what you guys think if you like the side part the middle part or the other side part the best and if you guys like this wig and you don't feel like making your own let me know if you guys would like for me to start making crochet wigs for people if I get enough requests then I definitely will consider doing so so if you guys would love to receive a crochet wig made by me if you don't feel like doing it yourself then make sure you leave a comment down below I'll definitely consider it depending upon the amount of requests that I get if you guys don't know these are contacts they are not my real eyes I have a variety of colors to choose from they are so bomb y'all if y'all want to switch it up you know want to be like these little Instagram models and stuff then make sure you check out that video I have so many other beautiful colors and I will leave all of the information down below as well as this beautiful beautiful choker honey it's so beautiful darling it's just uh I paid less than ten dollars for this choker y'all so if you're interested I will link the video with that choker along with some other great buys girl y'all better check out some of my other videos I ain't just crocheting okay check them out mm. and girl if y'all looking for a cute short pixie cut type of style girl go check out my latest video on this wig honey because this is a wig mm. bougie i look like i'm bougie y'all and please don't forget to thumbs up if you like this video feel free to share it share it on facebook share it on everywhere just share it share it share it and please don't forget to comment and subscribe and thanks so much for watching see you guys later